Many people are gearing up for a three day weekend, but this year things will look a lot different. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Eric Connert. And I'm Stella Scabito. Local leaders are urging San Diegans to follow the safety guidelines as we move further into phase two of our state reopening. News 8 Senator Rompour is live in Pacific Beach with more on how business owners and law enforcement officials are getting ready to deal with the crowds. It is a holiday weekend, Netta. Yeah, they're expecting quite a crowd out here. Of course, holiday weekend, people are going to want to come to the beach. The stay at home orders are in place and these boardwalks are still closed. But, you know, I got to tell you, a lot of people still not following these, what, five signs that are out here that say boardwalk closed. We've seen a few officers reminding them you can't walk here, but we still see them walking, taking their bikes and coming through. They've had to reattach the tape to the boardwalk many times trying to prevent people from coming. So you see a couple officers right there, lifeguards as well. They're all out and they will be out in full force. It's a holiday weekend, so they are ramping up their patrols. Now we got to mention, you know, they're going to be out here patrolling because the same rules have, that have been in place will remain in place through the holiday here at our area beaches. The main message will be keep on moving. They want you to, you know, come out and do your exercise. You can surf, you can swim, you can walk and run, but they don't want you to lay your towel out and picnic out here and gather out here. I know it's a holiday weekend. The weather is going to be very nice, especially on Monday, and they really want to warn everyone that, you know, we still are going through this pandemic, so it's going to look a lot different than what you're used to seeing. In fact, we spoke with San Diego police and they say, you know, they've issued 400 citations throughout our region since the start of the pandemic. That would be throughout San Diego County. Now, San Diego PD alone has issued 157 of those citations. 95% of them were in the month of April. And now what they're doing is really educating people. They recognize that these rules have changed a lot throughout the past few weeks. So their main message is to let people know what the rules are and they will move you along if they see you breaking those rules. Same thing with lifeguards. They're going to be keeping their eyes out on the beaches. Of course, they will be uh, expecting quite a busy, busy weekend ahead. So they've ramped up for their holiday staffing. They're still fully staffed. They're going to keep all their eyes on the beach no matter what we're going through as far as the public health orders because that, of course, is key. And they will also be moving people along and they'll call police if they need to. So as far as businesses go, yes, restaurants have reopened, retail shops also reopened, and the safety guidelines that are in place will not be something that police will be necessarily enforcing, but what they will do this weekend is educating people. And here's why. It started with the mask order, then it went into beaches can open, but they're restricted. And, and so when that started happening, I know that the community was confused. So we as a department went back to an educational approach and we haven't shifted from that because these rules are constantly changing. Um, and so we need to make sure that um, before we issue any citations, that the community members know what the rules are. And so that's where we are. We're in that educational phase again. Yeah, so a lot of restaurant owners are doing their best to follow all the safety guidelines when it comes to reopening and allowing for dining in. You'll see furniture rearranged. You'll see, obviously, employees need to wear their masks. They're asking customers to do the same. You don't have to keep it on while you're eating. But they're also opening up retail shops for shopping inside. So you'll notice fewer people allowed inside because social distancing is still a key in all of this. So that's in the businesses, but also out here at the beaches as well. So back here live, there you see couple officers right there on those ATVs and yeah, we've seen them patrolling. They're walking around, letting people know the rules, letting people know not to get out on the boardwalk, but still some people are not necessarily uh, complying. They're still walking out on the boardwalk. A lot of the parking lots also remain closed and that is their attempt to prevent people from gathering. So we know people want to get with fam friends and family, loved ones over the holidays, uh, but they're still encouraging you to stay within your family unit and of course keep social distance from people who are not in your family unit. Here's another San Diego police SUV now heading out onto the sand, uh, just doing their patrols, going up and down the coastline just to make their presence known. And again, their message here is educating the public because we know these rules have constantly changed. We're trying to do the same as well.